Okay, welcome to the beginner Python course. Uh, the focus of this course is going to be about using uh, just some very simple tools that Python have built in to teach you the programming concepts that are the building blocks of any language, but obviously the syntax then becomes a little bit different. Now for the focus of this course, I'm going to be looking at using uh, just the Python idle um, IDE. Uh, and compiler uh, rather than using a different piece of software. Now, if you have something installed like Visual Studio Code or uh, maybe PyCharm, you're able to do this uh, same course in there, um, but I'm just gonna keep things nice and simple. So when we open up idle, to begin with, what we have here is our interpreter. Uh, and what I mean by that is that if we enter some code into there, it will interpret the line of code that we've entered and then uh, give us a response there as well. So that means that we can do some very simple things uh, like hello. And you'll see that it uh, interprets that line of code and then gives us the output there in the interpreter. Now for the most part, what we're going to be looking at doing is setting up uh, a couple of different files uh, and then using those files to be able to create um, the things that we need in our Python turtle graphics output. So to work within a file, we need to come up to the file menu and say file new. Okay, and then that'll give us some space that we can enter our code over here uh, on the right hand side. Now whenever we run our output, our interpreter uh, and compiler will sort of appear. Uh, but the main focus that we're going to be looking at is going to be having our um, interpreter uh, graphics output coming out of Python. Now traditionally the first application that you will always write or the first program that you will always write in any language is what's known as the hello world application. So we're gonna be looking at doing that one as well. So simply all we end up doing is just having a print command and then we say hello world. Okay, and then from there we can go and run that application. So to run it, the file must be saved. So you can see it's unsaved at the moment, but if I try and just run that module, it'll say, you have to save this first. So when I click okay, uh, it'll say, where do you wanna save it? Now in this instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump onto my desktop and I've got a Python exercises one here, and this is gonna be what we refer to as exercise one. So I'm just gonna hit save, uh, that'll replace the file. And you'll see that over here, it says, hello world. Now this is printing what we call a string. Okay, uh, but what I could do is just to show you a very quick difference. Oops. And up here, I'm just gonna have name equals Ben. Okay, and then another one that says print name. Now you'll notice that there's a slight difference between these two commands here. Obviously this one is printing one that has quotation marks and this one without. So when we go to run that, uh, you'll notice that over here we get first of all hello world from our top line then we have uh, print name okay so it's picking up name from in here and then the second time around it's actually printing ben from in that section there so the name part that we have is actually what we refer to as a variable in programming terminology and we're setting that variable that's called name to be ben now the reason that it doesn't print Ben here is because it's printing the literal string that we are putting in there. So because we're putting the quotation marks in, it's saying I want you to print this exact thing that I put between the quotation marks. Whereas underneath, obviously we're saying go and find the variable called name and print whatever that is. Now if we were to change this and say, say that name equals three plus two, okay, we can then press run and then you'll see that it prints out that name equals five okay, down here in the last print statement. But if we were to put that in quotation marks, it would then actually print three plus two rather than printing five. Okay, so that's it for our first little app. Uh, we're gonna jump into the Turtle Graphics application next, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.